I'm Max, and today, today we're going to talk about my favorite instrument, the washboard. I've been playing percussion for about 25 years. I used to play the drum set in rock bands and punk bands, but I got pretty tired of putting the kit in my van and driving back and forth to gigs, pulling it up and down stairs. I said I need an instrument I can put in a suitcase, throw in the back of my bike, hold in one hand, and ride on the subway train with. And this was it. You know, they played similar instruments around the world throughout history, and Ukrainian folk music, they call it a zatula. In Polish folk music, it's called a tarkan. And then in Latin music, they play something similar called a guiro or a rascador. But this, this is a good old-fashioned American washboard. And it's just that, a board for washing clothes. I think of this instrument as a symbol or a metaphor for the American experience itself. On the one hand, uh, it's a positive symbol of, of optimism, of happiness, about bringing people together from all over the world to party, and dance, and play music. On the other hand, its history is full of darkness, violence, and oppression. We're going to take a deeper dive into that history a little bit later on, but today we're going to talk about how to play it. There's three basic ways people hold a washboard. One of them is like this, between your legs, playing both sides at the same time. Over in Europe, where I am now, I actually live in Berlin in Germany, jazz musicians will play it flat on their lap with two hands. The most common way is with a string or a strap over your shoulders and playing it flat on your chest in front of you. People play it with jazz wire brushes. They'll play it with spoons or bottle openers, gloves with bottle caps glued to the fingertips. Most people, myself included, play it with sewing thimbles on their fingers. One of the best things about a washboard is you get to personalize it, make it your own. You'll see people that add cowbells, wood blocks, cymbals, or horns. It's really up to you, depending on the sound you're looking for and the type of music you want to play. Let me show you the washboard I built for myself. I built this board out of black walnut with white oak trim. The metal I took from a Zinc King 701 washboard, and I added an antique frying pan and a receptionist desk bell. You can play anywhere you want on it, from the wood to the board to the pan to the bell, and you can play any style of music. Blues, jazz, rock, punk, folk, country. Today we're going to start with something simple. We'll play a 4-4 rhythm in a folk music style. First thing we need is a tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll take those four beats, play them with our right hand, right in the middle of the board. One, two, three, four. Now with our left hand, we're going to put the accents. We're going to give the song some motion, a groove. The left hand's going to play on the two and the four of the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll do both hands at the same time. One, two, three, four. This might seem a little mechanical, a little robotic, what we'll need to do is sprinkle some spice on top of that. Give it some personality, some character. That's going to depend on how your fingers actually strike the washboard. If you hit it straight on, if you hit it going down, if you hit it coming up, the important thing is that you have a soft and delicate touch. Imagine you're waiting for your friend to show up. They're running late and you're tapping your fingers on the table like that. You don't have to hit all of them at the same time. You can do it like a a drag stroke or a flam with a drum set. I'm going to start the mechanical way and then slowly add some of these flavors. One, two, three, four. Now maybe you understand what I'm talking about, or, or maybe you think I'm completely crazy. The important thing is that you relax, that you have fun, you enjoy yourself, you express yourself, you listen to what's happening in the song, and you put what you're playing into that context. We're going to come back with a bunch of videos about what is swing, how to swing, how to blues shuffle, how to country shuffle, how to play in 3-4, how to play in 6-8, how to play Latin music. We'll take 
famous drum set beats from rock and roll history and translate them into the washboard. Hopefully you subscribe, look out for those. Let me play you out with a little something now. One, two, three, four.